Okay, we're going to look at the clock builder now. Um, click on the clocks and rules tab, click on the clocks button. It gives you a list of the clocks currently on the system. We can double click on one of these to open up a clock. And it will show us the clock that we have here. So here we have all the clock items, a uh, list of available clock items on the side here. And of course we have all of the detail for the clock coming on here. So let's now close this one down instead. Let's make a um, new clock item. So click on this one here and I'll open up an empty clock. Maximize this. Give it a reference. Uh, we want to choose a player mode. Say this is an auto fade hour. And we want to choose a global rule set. So then we can set the clock items using the uh, list down the side here. So the first thing is um, I want to start with a uh, a jingle link, so I just drag that in, and then um, I want to say next I want an A list song, then a pop song, then a dance song, and a rock song, and then another link, and let's finish off with an uh, advert break. Now I'm going to show you a feature that's uh, new for Mirad 4 or uh, Auto Track 4 is. Um, Taking those items, highlight them, copy them, and paste them back in. And this way I'm going to build up the rest of the clock based on exactly the same criteria. Here you can see the uh, graph on the right hand, left hand here it shows you the overall hour. Let's put in one more song in here. Just double click and do song and say this one wants to be a let's make this a recurrent uh, obviously I'll probably have to fix my advert breaks here as well so um, change this one to half past forty five and let's just go for fifty five on this one okay I can also obviously fill in um, Characteristics, eras, genders, styles. Um, I can also do years, ending types, uh, and uh, whether things are droppable, fadeable, whether they should stop or go red. Um, sorry, go red for a stop or green to carry on. But because I'm in auto fade mode, all these are green anyway. So if I'm happy with my clock, I click on OK, and that then saves it to my list of clocks there. Of course, that won't do any good until I've gone into my clock assignment grid and said okay well I'm gonna put at 11 o'clock uh, right click assign and put uh, my clock into there so now 11 o'clock throughout the week my clock will be used